<laughs> Hello! Welcome to the shenaniganery hour. Hours. <clears throat> Waiting for the game to load up. Whoosh. Yeah. Roar. All right. Build the baggins. By the way, for those who are attending a myth moot uh, later this month, either in person or uh, through Mootcast or Moot Hub, the online versions therein, <clears throat> you will get to watch Professor Koi play the further adventures of Build the baggins. It's gonna be fun. However, I'm not doing that tonight. I am going to log in to my main because it's time for the catch-up completionist. By the way, look at this. I actually can create new characters because I bought character slots. Ah! I blew many of my Lotro points that have been accumulated through the monthly uh, stipend. <clears throat> and... Bought some character slots because they're on sale this weekend. This week. Uh, so all of my characters are out of uh, login jail. Um, got Alan on. Yes, named after the druid because... And yes, he's supposed to look like the druid because I'm that jerk. Um, Crystal. Badass guardian. Though I, I need to get some more better gear for her. Uh, cosmetic gear. I really want to get the, the chest piece that goes with these pieces of armor. I never found it, and I never went to look for it. I should ask uh, Nathrian where I could find it. He'll probably know. <clears throat> um, let's see. Who else? Nathaniel. Uh, a name I brought over from Ithil. And Quicksilver. A name I also brought over from Ithil. Quicksilver is a badass... Stout X champion because Stout X champions are awesome. Uh, Sapphire, my little wee hobbit hunter, looking pretty, pretty awesome there. Um, who else did I bring over? I think that's it. Yeah, everybody else. Those are the names I brought over from uh, from Ithil. Though I still have those names on Ithil, and I also have them on Honor. Hmm. However, let's go back to the main who is in a house, in a standard house, and uh, we'll get her all set up and get her back to Evendim. Because it's. Well, we're not. I'm not sure we're going to finish Evendim tonight. We'll, we'll, we'll plug away at it. Um, what I'm probably going to do is go to Oat Barton and work my way upward from there, because I think when we last. Uh, Left our intrepid heroine. We were getting sidetracked. We were doing some stuff in Enuminous and in Tinendir and thought we were going to be able to go up to Osferod and then Forachel. But then we found out we forgot all these other quests around Enuminous. So I'm like, oh crap, we're in the Baron Dolph, so we'll have to do those. Oh, I'm in my actual house. That's nice. Okay. Let's check the disaster that is my inventory. <gasps> Look at that! Look at all those free spaces. Alright. Let's... Must face target. Open the gates! Oh, and the reason I have spaces, I had some housing items in my inventory. That I put in my housing chest right there. Yeah. Let's turn my name on. I am born from ashes. So I hope everybody's having a good Saturday. Myself, I went and did the grocery shopping. And surprisingly, I um I'm I normally go used to go grocery shopping on Thursdays, and I'm not sure why, but it always seemed a bit frenetic. Um, but I went today and I thought, oh my god, why am I going on a Saturday? Everybody's off work. It's going to be a nightmare. It was actually not bad. And I bought this tremendously huge piece of beef. 
uh, and cut it up into like three separate sections uh, for three separate meals. And so I, I don't feel quite so bad buying $23 worth of beef because it was really big. Uh, and it's like my favorite cut of beef besides, well, I like ribeye a lot, but I actually like this blade cut a lot as well. Um, wait, where, where's Wenda Crane's bill? She should be around here somewhere. Is she back here? No, 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 no. Is she up here? Yeah, there she is. Let's talk to Wenda, because we need to get our presents from Wenda. And we're gonna go back to Tinandir. We might have to go to Bree first. We'll see if we can get to Tinandir. I don't think we can get to Tinandir from here. <sighs> Homestead, South. I don't want to go to South Bree. I'll try. <clears throat> throwing snowballs at Aiden. So we're going to start with... <sighs> yeah, let's... Let's go to Mickle Delving and then I'll go to Oat Barton from there. We're going to work our way from the south. A lovely day, isn't it? All right. By the way, Midsummer is coming up. The festival's coming up in a couple weeks, so time to watch the wedding all over again. Homestand, Sweet Yellow, Tin and Deer. There we go. I guess we'll go to Tin and Deer this way. Instead of riding up from Oat Barton, it'll be fine. My friends are all playing Ark right now, and I want to play Ark 2. Well, I will eventually play Ark 2, but I mean, I want to play Ark as well. Because um, the new Genesis 2 thing just came out, and it looks dead sexy. Okay, let's pick up some quests to do. Mm -hmm. Not gonna do it, not gonna do it. Okay, we'll pick this quest up. We'll pick this quest up. We'll pick this quest up. Pick this quest up. Pick this quest up. I should play what I want to. This is true, however, I do like to stream. And, unfortunately, Ark is such a horribly optimized game, I literally cannot play it in stream it. Uh, I would have to uh, probably play it on this computer and then stream it off of another computer, which is a pen in the ass. And we're going up there. You see that nice little uh, cut in the hill? We're going up the enemy. Hi, Dusty Bird. Aww! See, um, that does remind me, there will be changes to the streaming schedule. Uh, necessitated by the fact that I start work on Tuesday! Uh, and I'm just, like, tickled pink that I get to say shit like, Oh yeah, I have to go into the office. I have an office again! Oh, shit! So, um... I mean, it would have been nice to work from home, but honestly, I kind of like the idea of being out of the house for a little bit. I'm, I'm starting to feel a little bit of cabin fear. And I'm normally a person who likes to be inside. Um, I don't like going out too much. I also like air conditioning, so that was one of the other things I did today, is I actually fixed my air conditioning. Though, for some reason, the thermostat upstairs still says the house is like 80-some-odd degrees. It doesn't feel like it's 80-some-odd degrees. 
Because that was why my house was so hot the past few days. Like, why the shit is it just the air conditioning's having trouble? And so when I went out to mow the lawn today, as you do, I noticed the air conditioner wasn't even on. Uh, my house came with, like, you know, the out, the external, you know, carrier air conditioner kind of dealio. Uh, and it wouldn't even come on. I'm like, well, the fuck? And so I went through a few iterations of resetting the breakers in the house. Uh, well, in the garage is where the breakers are. Uh, reset the breakers, reset, uh, put new batteries in the thermostat controller, um, reseated the fuses in the air con- like the panel right above the air conditioning outside- air conditioning unit outside. Um, and like the second go around of those things, and right before, I mean, I'd already grabbed my keys, got my wallet, and was ready to go to Home Depot. To hello, hi. <clears throat> to go buy replacement fuses. I was ready to go and I didn't have to. Okay, you're not worth my time. Okay. I think there are some rangers hanging out over here. How can I be of service? Oh, I get to defend him. Hi. Okay. Teeny with the waffles and Teeny with the greetings. Igneous! Hello, my friend! We missed you earlier today when Bill and Cassie were streaming. Bill's visiting Cassie and it's like, oh man, I want to visit my friends. They were playing a co op Breath of the Wild. Um, by the way, even them looks badass look at this look at this damn those turbine devs mm. they were so good all right talk to maladan well maladan's down near so we need to go up the hill which i believe we need to go up the hill, which means following this path. Following the path. It's kind of weird because, you know, your quest arrow says go back this way, but you actually need to go up and around this way. Okay, look how gorgeous this game is. Like, the, the wild wood is right there. Scenario built that. Ignis, you probably remember him. Uh, Matt Elliott? Oh, wait. He's still there. Well, he left and he came back. Okay, we need to go... Let this see. No, no, no. For the longest time, I didn't even know these were up here. Oh, right, right, right. The sunken city, Anuminous. And one of the things I've always appreciated about the game is how it realized Anuminous. Uh, because Anuminous was never described... You know, by Tolkien. It, he never said, okay, Anuminous looks like this. So the devs had to basically take what little information Tolkien put about the city and make up 
Okay, it's gonna look like this. This is what the Numenorians would have built. This two robber is like, I'm not gonna help this guy. Will I fall down? Possibly. Possibly. It's meant to make you fall down, I think. Yeah. That's not- this is not the way. I can't honestly imagine having to do these quests when, like, everybody else is trying to do them at the same time when they first came out. That's like... Uh, and also, in the days before, um... Open tapping was a thing. Because now I ha Even I, a single player, have to wait for respawns. Pissing me off. Steggy, how you doing? Well, what's up with you, buddy? Ay, ay, ay. So, I am trying to re have a relaxing day. Tomorrow I'm going to be in a buttload of pain. Because today, not only did I fix my air conditioning, I also mowed the lawn. Mowing the lawn always takes something out of me. Wait, wait, wait. There's... Ah! Let's not do that. Let's go this way. I think they all count over here, too. This may be Tham Sark. Sarch. Though, to be fair, we did catch, um... We did catch it in a... In a... A good time. Okay, so this isn't quite as bad as I thought it would be to... Get all these guys done. Okay, so defeat these dudes. So they're done. Right, yeah. I think Fam Sarch is down there. Yeah, it looks like it's down there. Shall we go sliding down the hill? I did have a productive day. Um, I even got up earlier than I usually do. So I'm I'm actually really tired. Okay, Fam Sarch is is there. Love to So this is one of your favorite places? Nice. I mean, it really is. Even when we still had to call it Lake Ever Swim, because we don't have to do that anymore, because um there's boats. I think the boats are only for VIP accounts. I seem to recall that boat travel, um, the dock masters only are for paid accounts. But look at this! Look at this! This is amazing! Do you count? No. Well, this says this is not the way. So it must be that place up. So I have to go up the hill and up. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the way up here. I have to go up and around. Tomorrow, I am going to simply watch people stream, moderate their Twitch chats. Um, get off of that. I think I'm actually gonna have to go all the way up the hill and up and around. That's gonna bite, but that's why I got a war steed. <clears throat> be 
Did you know war steeds can drift? A master tomb robber. Mm, fancy title. Trying to remember how to get down. Hello, hello. Did I did I see? Did I see something interesting? Alas, I thought I saw indigo, but I was mistaken, and now I'm sad. <clears throat> Let's give the horse. Oh, great. Oh, I mean, go, look at this. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. I mean, this truly does look like the City of Kings. Though, I still have to wonder. Um, <clears throat> because we've got all these stone bridges, like the Brandywine Bridge, um, this bridge here. If the city was flooded by Gwyneth so long ago... Why does this bridge... Well, I don't know. I guess this bridge looks like it might have been higher. I don't know. Maybe this would have been more of a mountainy kind of thing. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Okay. Shoot you in the ass. This is the cool thing about being uh, running this on a max level character. It's so quick to get done. And still, we will take the lobby gear or whatever, the lobby chest, because it's mine. It's mine, precious. Hi, guys. And this other guy's like, I don't know. Well, these campfires in Lotro don't, like, uh, destroy you like they do in, in WoW. Like, you stand in a campfire and wow, it suddenly starts damaging you. Slowly. It doesn't- it doesn't do much damage, but... Yeah, standing in the fire, bad. I already put it this way. Ooh, what time of day? It's afternoon, going into dusk. Oh, it's dusk. This is when it gets super gorgeous up here. See, this this tomb robber's like, I'm just gonna stand here and look at the lake. Um, pretend I'm guarding, but I get to look at the beautiful stuff. See? Alright, and so we're supposed to bring the stuff to these guys. So we're just gonna go down the hill, because that's gonna be easiest. Am I gonna die if I jump off of here? Let's find out. Yes, I will. Um, but we can... Go down that way. Hmm. Will this be too- Yeah, I think it will be too far. And of course, the new Minorians did not believe in uh, railings. So they, they were not masters- Well, they were masters of OSHA violations. As much as the dwarves and the elves are. So I think it's a, a universal trait. Yeah, it's still too high. We'll just cut around here. I think this is actually the path you're supposed to take up here, is to come around this way. But of course, I took the scenic route. As you do. And Thief Kitty is upstairs, hanging out, being a chill kitty. 
Yeah, we can jump down from here. Slide down. Ow. Okay. Oh, I still have the Slayer Deed for you. So let's go find four more of your friends. And complete that Slayer Deed while we're here. There's no point in popping an accelerator for that. Hello, Kirkram, where are you? And once I finish off Even Dim, which may or may not be tonight, uh, then my next destination will be Forachel. Um, let's see, what other news? Oh, next Friday's Court of the Rings will be a Severlin visit, by the way. Um, I actually missed his show yesterday for the first time in fucking forever. I have not missed Court of the Rings in forever. Uh, however, I was at a meet and greet at my new company. And since they specifically invited us new employees to be there as part of the thing, I felt obligated to be present. And it was fine if we got free food. Okay, I need one more. So we're gonna go for the dude up here. You'll be number 100. <clears throat> And that is a completed deed. So let's go see what other deeds I need to do. Is I still need to complete the um, the Girthrig quest or deed. And that's not these little jerks. Uh, I still need to beat two of the leaders of the invasion. So I think those two are in. Oh, oh man. I have to go defeat salamanders. And this is just the first one. <sighs> oh, roving threats. Um, well, I only need to find Jorogas, the chieftain. So I could finish that. Okay, let's turn these quests in. You finally get your fingers <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. Right? I think those uh, last two uh, dudes are in the uh, Tomb of Elendil instance. But I will look at them up on the wiki here in a minute. I don't feel any particular need to ride my war steed everywhere. It's kind of chill, you know. Greetings. Did your quest? Did your other quest? No more quests out of you. What I don't know is how I got exalted, exalted, uh, kindred with the wardens without what ever do doing want? these quests. What can I do for you? I don't know. I do not know. I did your quests. Greetings. Did your quest. What do you need? Confront Bricken the Bold. Oh, so he's up in Osfrod, so we'll accept your quest, but... Okay. The hills are alive with eyeballs. Oh, man, no more quests. Well, we will do this quest. And Might I take a moment of your time? Yes, you may take a moment of my time. 
And one thing I'm noticing Sorry, is that nice. it's, oh my god, it's not showing me quest strings. All right, trivial quest triv. I don't know how that got changed, but I did not turn it off. Silly game. Would you do something for me? Defeat tomb robbers. What do you want? What do you want? Might I take a moment of your time? Yeah, I feel confident I'd already done these quests before, but we'll do them again. Or I might just re be remembering that I had done them on an alt and forgot to do them on this one. Hey, there's another player. Alright, it says to scout the various Hauds, so let's go in each one. We're going in to Haud Erendur. Keys to the creeps. <clears throat> I think I might have already done most of those. That one's been done, that one's not done. Okay. Let's go do these three. Ski! How are you, my friend? I hope you are doing well. Uh. Alright. Let us keep going. Oh. The way is shut! Wait, that's the last of the holds, yeah? On this side? Did that one. Um. we do that one? No, that was the one we did. Character fell off a hill but was bungee jumping instead of landing? That's kind of cool.
Bonier. I think I'll probably wind up having to come back here to kill him for a quest. Because he looks like he was a quest character. Alright, that's done. I kind of wish that once you... Well, okay, never mind. You, that when you go to all of them, they show up as little flags on the map. Okay, people left Tarandar to sleep in peace. Good. Oh man, my shoulder's hurting though, so... This is the part where I pop a couple of Advil on stream because... Holy crap, my shoulder is hurting. See? Advil. Nothing illegal. I mean, just two. Take two. They're small. Hello. Ah. And the Angmar Emmer here. Oh, no. Of course, how Elendil. Elendil should get the best place. We were discussing mortuary science um, and the notion that um, Theoden's body probably was, uh, well, I mean, probably I would imagine it would have to be embalmed in some fashion to prevent proper, uh, you know, stankiness that happens with bodies decomposing. Hey, I got Lotro points. Nice! Ten Lotro points. Sweet! That makes up for all the Lotro points I blew on character slots. Oh, and because it was still Thursday when I did this weird-ass purchasing stuff. Um, well, basically, I wound up taking advantage of last week's sales as well. So, I wound up getting um, uh, some storage. Oh. Okay, where's How to Tarsil? It's probably that away, but um Yeah, it's this way. Where is it? Sark, Elendur, Erendur, Valandur, Elendil, Tarandor, Tarsil. Okay, Tarsil is the one in the back. Meh. Still saving a Lotro points to reach forty five hundred. Uh, if I may ask, uh, what, what's the reason for the goal? I mean, what are you going to buy with 4,500 Lotro points? I mean, you can buy a lot. <clears throat> Minus Morgul and Three Peaks? Awesome. Fair. We need to see, uh, if Cord... Well, one of the things you might want to keep an eye out for is... Next month should be the extra July sales, which is kind of like not as good as the Black Friday sales, which are like the best sales all year long, but it's kind of like the December deals that they have. So you'll prop, knowing my luck, character slots will be like 75% off in a couple of weeks. So each week in July should have an extra weekly sale. It's possible they might put um, Minus Morgul. In Three Peaks on sale, I don't know, but you never know. One of the things you could probably do is, you know, make a request. Say, hey, Core, this is what I want for the sales. And actually, you'd be addressing that to e-commerce. Whoever has Red Panda's job now. Because Red Panda is now a director. Mm. For another company. 
Because, I mean, that's one of the things is, you know, sometimes folks in the gaming industry leave because, you know, they get laid off. Like, that's what happened to, like, the composer of World of Warcraft. He got laid off. Um, though it wasn't entirely a layoff, just, you know what I'm saying? And I, and that's not a rumor. You know, he's a friend. I, you know, I knew these sheet. Um, but... What do you mean? Sometimes folks go because they found another opportunity somewhere else, and that's exactly what happened. Like, for example, my friend Coffee Bird... Uh, he used to be the guy who wrote the patch notes for WoW. Worked at Blizzard for, I don't know, four, 14 years, I want to say? Um, a lot of years. And he left because there wasn't anywhere for him to go at Blizzard. They didn't have any higher level community manager jobs that he could do, so he couldn't get a promotion with his job. Um, so he went to another company that did give him a director level job. Because they recognize that, holy crap, this guy worked for Blizzard. Oh my god! Look at this! Oh, hello. Hi. Um, let's look at these. Let's make them blue, because that's what we do. Yeah, well, they hardly die at all. Those are actually not too bad. And these are, of course, the even dim uh, class sets, which, you know, as a level 30 something character, this would not be bad at all, especially with the set bonus. Though I really wonder about these, the scarfs for the light armor people, I feel bad for them. Standing so, well, turbine should feel bad for those. <laughs> Was terrible. All right, we'll take your quest. All right, let's get everybody else's quest and do this too. Stay a moment. Might I take a moment of your time? You're taking more than a moment of my time, but that's okay. I accept this. Might I take a moment of your time? How can I be of service? I saw them beat up that Birkin guy. Might I take a moment of your time? Could I speak with you a moment? Might I take a moment of your time? Would you do something for me? Basically, you go back to all of these tombs and pick up their shit again. I mean, it really depends on how fast you're, um, gathering your points as to whether it's going to be, um, worth it to wait the entire month of July to find out, oh, hey, um, there wasn't a good enough sale for them. But you never know. It's got two tombs for the price of one. You're not in a rush? Fair. And if they don't do, like, uh, an expansion, older expansion, um, sale in July, they'll almost definitely doing it in, in November because that seems to be a fairly typical. Now, again, I don't work for a standing stone. I can only tell you uh, the possibilities based on previous behavior. Okay, nothing for rubbings there. I think the last one's got to be down this way. Okay. Hmm. 
Yawn. Alright. And you to the tracker. And you to the tracker. Can't go in there. Don't go in there! Okay, make sure there's nothing else in here that I need to worry about. See, I told you I'd have to kill this guy for, uh, for a quest reason. I was right! Big, big, bright flames. I didn't put them there. Um, not a door I can open. But it seems to think that there is something in here. Oh, this door I can open. The ring is not here. All the dudes fall over, go boom. I'm thinking it's probably in one of these actual tombs, one of these big ones. Or, as usual, be in the very last place you look. Did I do that one already? I think I've done all of these already. Aha! It was the last place I looked. <sighs> so, next week, uh, again, stream schedule is going to perforce have to change simply because um, I don't know. I, I believe my training schedule will be 9 to 6. Um. Okay, we gotta go to Hod Eldakar. Let's get this one out of the way. This one out of the way. 
So I won't get home till 7 and I'll need time to eat supper. So I probably will move my stream date or stream hours back an hour to start at 9. Okay. Let's make sure there's any other ones I need to look for. This one. I think I just have the two in Haud Ildakar. I kind of wish these doors would actually tell you which one you were in, going into. But I think my goal is going to try and keep, um, my actual stream days to be the same. Now that may change depending on which days off that I have. And I think that's the only concern I actually have is whether I'll be able to keep, uh, my official Locho stream on Fridays. Cause that's actually when I'd like to do it. I've had Fridays off in my professional career for, God, 14, 15 years, so it's a thing. It, then I'm just used to it. Ha. Your boss is dead. Now you are. So are you, just because you're angry. Must be exciting. It is gonna be exciting. I know it's going to be a lot of hard work. On the other hand, um, the other new hire uh, is a guy. This will be his first uh, tech support kind of gig, you know, IT sort of gig. He was in the restaurant industry, so he, when I when I met him yesterday, he was talking about how he was really nervous and hoped this worked out. And I'm like, you'll be fine. It'll be fine. Have I broken the news? Like, he would notice, honestly. Um, the only, honest, honestly, the only thing I'm concerned about with the kitties uh, is the fact that I'm used to feeding them sometime around noon or thereabouts. Um, and then giving them their treats at, like, 11 or so. And that's going to have to change. And I don't want to feed them at, like, 7 in the morning. However, seven in the evening is not that much better. But I think they'll they'll be okay with it. What can I do? How can I be of service? Okay, you're done. Come on, Rodlam. He's always so hard to click on through the trees Who's for some this? reason. What can I do for you? Alright, you're done. Greetings. What can I do for you? I am getting all these bronze Arnorian coins, though. Greetings. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? All right, we'll choose my class item, even though I'm never going to use it. Could I speak with you a moment? Okay, talk to Adron and Ekad Garthadir. Okay. I got Gartha Deer. Oh, right, right, right. That is. Yeah. Okay. Greetings. We're actually going to go back to Tinandir. <clears throat> I want to try to stretch my back because it is hurting. Everything is hurting right now. Um, actually, actually, let me go up to um. Let me go up to Osfrod and kick that guy's ass. What can I do for you? We'll come back and. I'll be messing with the stream time. I know, I know. Though to be fair, Thief has actually not been. 
coming to the streams as often as he used to. Uh, mainly because he's been spending more and more time sleeping uh, upstairs where it's warmer. Okay, if I seem to recall correctly, that Britchon guy was down here somewhere. Yep, there he is. Britcha, Britchon, Brickon the Bold. He's about to get his ass kicked. What's he looks like name? a ruffian. Yeah, you'll change your ways. Beat him up and just use my auto attack right click. I mean, jeez. He's a, he's a wuss. How can I be of service? Back to ten and deer. Ugh. I am going to hurt so much tomorrow, as I normally do when I mow the lawn. It, I really need to just hire somebody to do it again. Because my, my lawn isn't too difficult, it's just it does have a little bit of a hill to deal with. And some overhanging trees, which I dealt with some of them today. Breaking off branches and whatnot. Okay. What do you need? Let's go to a Numinous, which you can only get if you're a friend with. Did this used to be kindred with the wardens of a Numinous? The neighbor kid would used to do them. Yeah, see, for a few. Um, some years ago, like the first couple of years, um, I just mowed the lawn myself, and you know, it's what you gotta do. But I wrenched my back really badly. One time when I grabbed the chain, you know, the pull and yanked, uh, you know, because it was a gas motor. I didn't, you know, I didn't spend extra to buy, you know, the electric starting engine, which I probably should have. So at that point, I'm like, screw this. I am not doing this. Oh, you've got a quest for me. Will you lend me your ear? Okay. Okay. This is a repeat quest you have previously completed, so we're not going to do it again. I have previously done that one as well. So they don't count. And you don't have a follow-up for me. So we're done here. Except I want to go see if I can see if... Uh, The roving threat is up. Because if he's up, he's always over here. Not one of them appears here. Alright. He's not present. Let's go talk to Helish here. Hel here. We're gonna ride through the remains of Anuminus because it's fun. <clears throat> hmm. 
Sorry, I am yawning. I'm not... Well, I am tired, but I'm not yawning like I'm sleepy yawning. It's just some, it's sometimes it's just something I do. And from my understanding, you yawn to get more oxygen into your lungs because your body feels that you need more oxygen in your lungs. Though a lot of times it happens for most people when they are sleepy. How can I be of service? Okay. We are done with all the quests here, yes? Yes. Okay. So let's go back to our dock master. And we have to go kill a crap ton of salamanders. So we're going to go back to Tinendir. Mm. Okay, let's check our deeds. Uh, <clears throat> Kevin! With the Thief Kitty emote. Hello, Kevin. How are you? Alright. We haven't finished the Slayer, so I still need to kill a bunch of goblins. And you know exactly where we can go to do that one. Hi. You threw the Thief Kitty emote out in chat and look who shows up. Kevin with the gifts of the ski! So ski can throw down the Thief Kitty emote too. Look at you. And that's 20 gift subs in the channel. Kevin, you beast. Kevin, personally ensuring I get a Twitch payout this month. <laughs> He gets belly rubs. Look at this kit. Don't show your butt to the camera. I'll get banned from Twitch. Up here. Run up here. Hi. 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 Hi, thief. Hi. He drools, in case you're wondering. He drools. <laughs> Actually, um, one of the streamers that I mod for, the Jungle Queen, 
she has one of her cats, Oreo, uh, loves to flash his butthole to the camera like frequently. So she made a chocolate starfish uh, emote for her channel. And it looks something like this. As soon as I find it. Fifi. Fifi. Fifi, Fifi, Fifi. What are you doing, Fifi butt? It looks like this. It's an actual starfish, but a chocolatey color, so it's a chocolate starfish. <laughs> <sighs> by the way the new art raffle is open so exclamation point sunshine uh for your chance to win uh the next character portrait the one last month was won by my friend night lily uh and she elected uh to have her cat sergio be the art victim so he's a big floof there we go. Tuba gets in first, I think. <gasps> what? Four total? Okay. Well, people have been doing sunshine and I didn't even know about it. Or else I just wasn't paying attention. All right. So we got to defeat the girthing. Um, let's add you to the tracker. Let's add you to the tracker. And we want to get you on the tracker. And you. Um, girthing goblins salamanders okay so we're gonna do slayer deeds fam slayer deeds uh first of all though we are going to sell shit because look at my bags they full my bags is full fam kitty what are you doing what are you doing crafting mats you save crafting scally <laughs> Skills. Adamants can be sold because I already have too many of them. Sell all of those. Look at those empty spaces. What are we waiting for? I'm on the sugar. Ba 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 ba. Ba da ba. La da 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 da. Where can I find goblins in even dim? Well. We know where we can find goblins. Uh, Guloth and Belhes. I think they're in... Let me look. I said I was going to look them up on the wiki. The wiki. Uh, leaders of the invasion. Leaders of the invasion. Advanced. Okay. Defeat Guloth and Belhes. Uh, are located in the Ost Elendil instance. Oh, goody. And that one we're going to have fun with. So let's do that first, and then we'll pop the Slayer Deed and go murder things. Because then it'll be fine. Because we already beat Shin Grinder and Dolvethor in the Haud of Valandil, and we beat Nengen already. So let's go to this. Ost Elendil, which... Apparently does scale, so we're gonna pop that down to 40 because I am all about the cheese. Let's cheese it, cheese it, going on to pop. Okay, never mind. We're not. Oh, and Ost Elendil is so pretty. Have come to Ost Elendil, seeking to establish a foothold in Anumenas, while the rangers of the north assailed the city of their fathers in a desperate. Where are you? Come on, come on, come on, come on. And that's really the big mechanic here, is you have to have things in the sun. A <laughs> little bit of lag there, fam.
And I don't remember this instance beyond the fact that you needed to open the sunlight at certain points of time. Or you couldn't beat the bosses. Or the boss. Okay, so more Elendil Guard, so... More is typically bad. Mordor, Mordorambor, Mordiris. More typically means bad shit. But then Elendil, of course, was the High King. So evil Elendil? Light! I think I got them all? Now this truly does look like the Tomb of the King, right? And it's not too dirty. I mean, it's it looks old, but it's not dirty. Well, I mean, there's this, this crap, but for the most part. I mean, a lot of the uh, Numenorean buildings or instance locations are all pretty run down. Involves the horn at the Hornburg? Oh my. Can I make it a tuba? Because that would be funny. That's also one thing that's really cool that uh, Turbine has done and Standing Stone has, is the use of creative uses of windows. And how, even though technically you can't get outside those windows, you can still kind of see what we should be seeing uh, from outside. It's really cool. And I, and I, I do both like and hate the fact that there's a lot of mechanics in the game in these old instances that you still can't um, overcome without assistance. Like, my champion here cannot beat the level 50 raid boss. Okay, I think I have them all opened. You are gonna die. reach. There. He's beat. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright. 
Let's move on to the throne of Elendil. And yes, I will sit on the throne once I beat this instance. And this is the hard part, is uh, opening these when they're interrupting the hell out of you. No fear of being disarmed. And these guys are not taking any damage. So I'm gonna need a proper CC in order to have time to open the counterweight or else what I'll do is I'll run across here while they're goofing off over there. Pull the counterweight here if I have enough time. This may be a non-starter because you need somebody to open these up for you. Alright, come on, come on. Come on. Stop hitting me! There simply isn't enough downtime between the two, I think. Let's see if this works. Oh, hello, sir. Okay, we have a plan. Oh my god, it was so close! Alright, let's build up some fervor so I can hit the horn again, because fuck you guys. Come on, you. this a different way. Okay, I've got that one. Come on. Come on. Come with me, boys. Why is this not... What am I missing?
Oh, you fuckers. actually die people there's two So these aren't doing anything for them. I'm just not getting these thuns off right. Where's my cursor? Where's my cursor? I've got three done. Do I have to do all six of them? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, Really? Really? Go, you little shit. Hi, yi, 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 yi. 
Yeah, we have hope tokens. We can use a hope token. Come on, come on. Next! As long as it stays open, I think I'll be okay. Two groups at once. Yeah, once I can get their shields down, life is good. Take a screenshot, but I did anyway. We get there eventually, people. Okay. Come on, Agnes. A willing sacrifice. I don't think so. Alright. I've collected a bunch of bloodstained runes. Alright, sunshine. Let's go! You dropped a puddle on the floor. How dare you? There we go! There we go, people! <clears throat> Hell yeah. Get the wooden chest. And, of course, because we are that asshole, we're gonna sit on the really nice... This is actually really nice, I must say. The Tomb of Elendil is really nice. And I don't feel bad about doing this because Grifflet did it too. There we go. We're sitting on the Tomb of Elendil. And again, this is like... You, you expect like a dungeon is this to be like really, really terrible looking, but this is not bad. This is really good. Indeed, Tracker. Goodness. Mmm. All right, got a screenshot of that. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's <sighs> virtue cap is true. Okay, are you at cap? Yes, you're at cap. You're not. So fidelity is going to be my next. Fidelity is my next earning. And then we will get Valor, and then we will get Confidence. And then we'll let them go however they want to go. <clears throat> okay, uh, let us abscond. I didn't want that button. What's this button? Oh. Control of Anuminous, we've got it. <clears throat> I'm the protector of Anuminous now. <clears throat> yes. So I'm not worried yet about doing the challenges because those are on the instance tab. I am more focusing on the, uh, whoops, the actual. Ow. I mean, these will be fun to do. Oh, hello. I'm missing one from the exploration of Karn Doom. How dare I? Uh, but we're gonna go back and do these if we can. I mean, I'm not too fussed about doing the challenger quests, but uh, those are all instant stuff, so it's not really um, stuff that I'm gonna worry about. I wanna go back to my Even Dim tab, and we still have Girthrig, Goblins, and Salamanders. 
The best place to farm goblins in Evendom is going to be um, up by Torphorus. So we're going to do that. Let me double check and see the best place for um, Girthering. Brutes from the north. Okay. From Till Unnoon through Ariant to the camp southeast of Ariant. Okay. Oh, the Girthrig are. Oh, it's those big dudes. Yeah, we can kill a lot of those guys. This will be fun. Wait, let's uh. How can I be of service? Let's take our Numina shortcut, yeah. Girthrig is bleh. Yeah, it's not the best thing, always. Um, so the best, quickest way to deal with a Girthrig is to go to Ariant and just run through, you know, that place. Um, I mean, there are others who show up. Um, let me double check again for the uh, RT. Real quick. Not present. Wrong way. Back up, beep, beep, beep. Back it up, dead ass. Okay, we're going to start with this guy right here. However, what we're going to do first is clear out this and find my Slayer Deed boost. Now let's go to Ariant. Unfortunately, you only have to kill 40 for the initial one and then um, 80 for the second one, but <clears throat> with the uh, booster on, uh, we cut that in half. Somebody 31 of 40. And they respawn pretty quickly. See, there's like two of these dudes right here. Pew pew. Crash my donkey. Donkey? <laughs> I'm so casual about, you know, just shooting these guys and just running. It's, it's, it's like, I don't care. He, of course, counts. He should count for, like, two. 
because he's he's a he's a signature mob, like a super signature mob. But alas, he does not. And there is a place where Gerthig uh, hang out uh, in another part of Anubinus, but um, they there's not as many of them as there are here. <laughs> okay. Shift L. Let's add the advance to the tracker. Now we have to kill 40 more. One. Two. Uh oh, uh oh. I think somebody might be doing questing up in here. And suddenly all these guys show up. Fight Club is ended. Wanna find me so weak? You're fine. You're dead, but you're fine. <gasps> brawler! Hello, Brawler! Look at this. He's a Brawler! So I've already sandbagged a couple of names for Brawler alts for when the Brawler eventually does come out later this year. Um, they're currently sitting on my other account. Uh, on my um, Camera Hobbit account. Because I want to keep their names to myself for a little bit. That way when the time comes and we can play Brawlers... Uh, then what I will do is, uh, use one of my two, um, Valars sitting in the bank on a brawler, and then I'll use one to be a regular brawler to level the normally. Because I have a boosted character of every class except a hunter. I lied. Um, except, no, I have a. I've never boosted a champion. I've boosted every other class, though. Because I had this character. Well, technically, my other champion was boosted, but the character was boosted to, like, 105, so I don't think that quite counts. Um, scenario, move this tree. Move that tree, buddy. Thank you. We're at 10 of 80, so it shouldn't take too long. This guy should... Yeah, there he is. Soon to be dead. Again. There's a beautiful song called Dead Again by Mr. Tom Smith. I recommend the possible Oscar uh, cover therein because they rocked that shit up. And oh, it's one of my favorite nerdy songs. It's about all the ways you can die in video games. And... and the line that cracks me up every time is the one where they talk about I even found a way to die in mist. I'm like, yeah, that takes some doing. I mean, it is easily possible to die in mist. You just choose one of the brothers. <gasps> Secret! So mist, the, the end of mist, spoilers, um, is literally like the end of war games. You know, the movie war games where the only real choice is not to, not to participate. That's pretty much how it works out. <laughs> Not thief foot back upstairs because it's warmer up there. He got his cuddles and then he went away, as he does. I am the formidable, huh? No, I don't think I'll ever... I can't imagine at this time changing my title on this character. I just can't imagine any other title that is more perfect for this character. I 
And of course you get this one by beating Drygox's ass. And I didn't even know it was a thing. Because I don't do all the, you know, I don't dig into all the instances and shit. <clears throat> you remember way back in the day when those gates were not always open? There's something to click on the bridge for a deed. Um, the gates were closed when you, then you had to pour it out. Um, the gates where? Here? Or the gates at the end of the bridge? Now I'm... That long bridge we just crossed. Oh, the gate's like here? Hmm, I did not know that. It's very possible that I just... Because I never really played through this part of the area um, when I was going through this because this is like super hard back in the day. So I would have just done the epic quest and gotten the hell out of dodge. Okay, we're at 28 of 80. We got one more, down, one more down. One more down here. Wait, is one over here? No, it's just a couple of dudes. Thirty-two of eighty. So you got lucky to get there. Nice. That's actually been an interesting conversation on the forums um, of late. Uh, there has been a, I think, an uptick in the number of people are saying, oh my god, I want a proper classic Lotro that's where everything is like really hard and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, And I'm, I'm wondering what everybody thinks about that. Because, I mean, I have my own thoughts and opinions on the matter. Um, it mainly depends on how the idea is presented to the rest of the community. Uh, as in, oh, I hate these quality of life improvements. I think the game should be X, Y, and Z. And if you don't like it too damn bad sort of way of presenting that sort of thought. And then there's the other way, which is... You know, I really wish it were more like X because this is what I enjoy, but I wouldn't for want to force it on anybody else kind of side of the question. And I definitely fall on the, I don't mind if there are harder difficulties and less quality of life, but I think it should be optional. Because people have their own objectives in the game and they have their own time as to how they're going to complete those objectives. So, for example, if somebody... And actually, Maid of Lions had a very interesting response to it. It's, it's typically been the response when people say, I want content to take much longer than it is taking. Um, I, want their, I want to spend eight hours a night raiding. And I'm like, we're not college kids anymore. Really? And Maid of Lions said that he himself, you know, like, he's now a parent... You know, he's got this, he's older, he doesn't have time to spend eight hours a night after work running a raid. Um. <clears throat> but on the other hand, I do appreciate the number of voices that are saying, we want, you know, we want this older experience that we miss. Um, and I think a lot of that has definitely come from the fact that Blizzard's you know, WoW Classic and Burning Crusade Classic are immensely popular. And honestly, I thought that once they folks had scratched that WoW itch, um, that classic itch, that the numbers would have just basically put it in a maintenance mode after a year. But, you know, now they got the Burning Crusade Classic. 
Are they going to keep advancing it and doing like a World uh, Wrath of the Lich King classic? We don't know. Um, I don't think they would go beyond Wrath of the Lich King because I because those are the three classic instances of WoW. Wrath was basically when most folks were like, "This is my this is WoW at its pinnacle of how difficult the game was and how interesting the game was." And this is when I had the most fun. Also, Wrath of the Lich King tends to have the best music soundtrack of all of the expansions. In your face! Forty-six of eighty, so we're over halfway done with the advanced uh, thing. You think a vocal minority romanticizes it, but most could care less about it? Hmm? Moxie! Hello! It's good to see you! Wait, we went too far. Wait, how'd these guys get up here? How did you do- Dudes, how'd you get up there? I can't shoot- Well, yes, I can shoot you from here. I can't shoot you, you're too far away, but- And so are you. Okay, but I got the one guy. <laughs> So Moxie uh, thinks Lotro um, skews toward an older audience. Yep, I agree. Um, in the easier, less time intensive stuff is awesome. Maybe optional hard modes would appeal some. You just don't know how many. It's kind of like world PvP. You know, how many people scream for world PvP all the time? And to be fair, Bombadil was not proper world PvP. I mean, it was enabled. But it wasn't the kind of world PvP that players actually wanted. But it was an interesting experiment. Fifty-six of eighty and my bags are full. Well, we'll fix that. We can fix that. Not by much though. Where is it? And I always lose this in the middle of it. Let's go see what the cloth shoulder pants look like. I like those actually. They do look pretty good in heirloom blue. Look kind of interesting. Okay, we're gonna save that. To be fair, not much of the gear at this level actually looks halfway decent. Most of it's just pretty plain. I mean, it's okay, but it's not like some of the really good stuff we used to get. We get in later stuff. So. Oh! Look at that! We're definitely taking that for the lore master. <laughs> I keep interrupting them gambling on that fight. I know, I'm so bad. Um, let's pull up my inventory. And... Tome... Of the dog. Okay, now this is the fun part is um, I can see if any of my alts have the tome of the dog. The downside is this takes fucking forever. So I have two of them. So I would imagine Zerilyn has the other. So let me check Zerilyn's uh, storage here. Because she's my other lore master. She should have one. Come on, come on, come on. She does not have one. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to send the Tome of the Dog to Zerilyn, and if she has one, and all in and for which is being a butthead, then I will ship it to Alanon. All right, let's go back and kill more dudes. They haven't respawned. Movie time for Dusty Bird. Have a good night uh, with the hubby. 
Be good, and if you can't be good, be good at it. You know the trail. I keep saying broken halberd, and I think broken halberd, and then I get sad. Halberd. Though we just did the, uh, the, the funeral for the Pelinor on Gondor Has No Druids yesterday. And it always gets me a little bit verklempt. Always gets me a little bit right here in the heart. <sighs> so next week's catch up completion show will be also equally tired because I will have streamed on the official for three hours, then broke for lunch for two hours, and then come back here to stream this show. It's going to be a little bit wacky next week, I think. But I can talk to you about how my first week at the job went. Um, now, of course, I've messed up the rotation because I waited too long. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, so let's wait for this guy to respawn, and then we'll continue our rotation from there. So we only need, uh, um, five, six of them? We only need six more of these dudes, so we can just go back in here and, uh, kill the dudes. And then we'll go, uh, beat up on some salamanders, I think. Mainly because goblins are much more fun to murder. Um... Besides, we can go DIE all the time. And also, uh, take a look, uh, run down to Oakbarton and see if I have missed any quests there. Now, I'm not going to do the North Cotton Farms ones because they uh, are instance quests. They're not, like, landscape. Hmm. <sighs> Yep, I hear the fight club again. After the show, I'm going to go to uh, the Prancing Pony. I believe the BBB is playing tonight. Uh, they missed out last week because... Uh, I don't know. They didn't perform. I just remember as like, yay, I can actually go do XYZ thing, uh, an hour earlier than I normally do. And I think it was playing Ark. It's always playing Ark. Okay, I just need, um, three more? Four more. Four more. So, there's four down here then. Your friend Kengis has gone offline. Now I'm sad. I think it'll be appropriate that the last one I take down is going to be the one that's part of the fight club. To me, that seems appropriate. Well, one of the ones for the fight club, anyway. There we go. Alright. I have defeated those. I am now also a Warden of the Numinous. How nice. Got some 20 Lotro points. Hello. 
All right. I now am the title. I am the title of the warden. Okay. So let's go look where Jorogus is supposed to appear. Oh, he's a Garadan. Well, here's the thing about the RTs is they have, like, what is it, 10 spawn points? And they could be in any one of them. And any one of the RTs can be in any one of the, the spawn points. I just actually do a roving threat hunt on a separate stream, but it's part of the tab and I do kind of want to complete it. And now we're going to ride our war steed. It'll be fun. Okay. Got the catapult. The other side there. The Numinous. The other one in the Numinous. Next side there. Okay, let's go and, well, I still have the, uh, the thing here going for another hour. Um, let's go take care of some salamanders and then some goblins and then we'll deal with RTs. Sounds like a plan, right? Let's see if I Rivendell the bridge. This would be funny if I ran into the water. Well, it's not a bridge, but you know. However, since we're here, we are still going to do a quick check to see if the RT has suddenly popped or spawned over here. Negative. Okay. There's also supposed to be one that spawns like down here someplace. And it can't west of the bridge until... Okay, so... Yeah. We've already been to the west of the bridge until a noon because that's where the fight club is. Okay. Back up, back up, back up. There we go. Okay. What can I do for you?
Normally I could just, uh, you know, take the swift travel down to Oak Barton and ride up, but I think if I ride it down from here, I can at least go up on this hill and see if the RT is there. Because there's two, two separate spots up there. Uh, and there's one in, in the fields of the Barrendolf, which is where we're going anyway, so... I do like how the per pixel attenuation makes this look amazing. You get that little bit of a glow and the reflection on the stones that we didn't have that before. is more of a matte flat color. Do, 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 do. Um. Oh, got the corner a little bit too quickly. There we go. Okay, if there's an RT, it would be up here by the catapult. <clears throat> Hey, there's a salamander here. So we can still kill that. Tarlug is not the one we need. Well, you fucker. We're still gonna kick his ass. Hey, come here. This is actually fun. No, he's a level 100. RTs typically wind up being like 100, 105. Still one of your favorite areas. Hell yeah. I mean, it's really good. It's very beautiful. It's, it's got such a wide variety of um, of appearances. I mean, you've got you know this highland woody kind of thing. You've got the lake. Um, you've got the sand down here that always reminds me of those deserts in the north. Like um, there's apparently some desert in some national forest or something? Question mark. Um, Uh, like, east or northeast of, um, Vancouver, British Columbia, and that's where they shoot, like, all the quote-unquote desert scenes in, 
and all the TV shows that are shot and movies that are shot up in Vancouver because it's cheaper to do shit in Canada. Now there's supposed to be another RT spot around here. Now, I actually forgot. I was looking something up um, in my art references, and I forgot to finish actually looking it up. Alas. And I don't know where I put it. Might have been something I put in a different folder. Well, I'm not going to look for them now. I will go look for them later. Because the clock is ticking, people! It is quarter after ten. Which means we've got 45 more minutes to finish. I think I will wind up completing... Um, never did actually look to see where that other RT spawn point was... Sand mounds. It's sixteen point seven by sixty four point one. So it'd be somewhere up here, I think. Well, maybe that was Tarlug was in that spot. Eh, whatever. Wasting time, wasting time. Let's not continue to waste time. Oh, let's go kill some salamanders. And then some goblins! And then we'll go look for more quests that we need to do. Remember when these salamanders used to wreck you? Because they'd set you on fire? Well, I mean, they still set you on fire. But when you're 130, they don't wreck you anymore. You're only level 32. And one of the things you do still want to do in this circumstance is kill these dudes because it shares a spawn point with the salamanders. 
So even though you don't need them for a deed or anything, killing them frees up the possibility that it might respawn as the salamander did. True story. A lot of games will do that, is they will set up a spawn point and it might spawn A, B, C, or D. And sometimes they'll be like equal chances, like, you know, <clears throat> that each, like, let's say it's a spawn point shared with four different uh, possibilities and each one is like a quarter of the chance it could be any one of these. And even that is an RNG thing, it's not necessarily in a, like a cycle. It's like, oh hey, we did Salamanders this time, so we better do Limrothan next time kind of deal. A lot of them just RNG it, so it might be that uh, Salamander spawn there three times out of four. But that doesn't mean Salamanders have a better chance, it's just that's what the dice rolled. I love the fact that they created rich iron, which meant that it threw off their naming scheme for the, uh, the rare spawned, um, uh, nodes, because, yeah, you have rich iron, but then again, we got the bountiful thing. Okay, so we did the first one. Um, now we need to do the second one. Five Lotro points. So now we need to kill 180 of these things, which means we need to kill 90 of them. Oh my god. This is why I wanted to do this one first. Because this one is fucking boring. And unlike the, uh, the quests, or the uh, deed to kill all the goblins... Um, these salamanders are all over the damn place. You have such a wide variety of places you have to go to get them. But they like Pokemon, you gotta get them all. Whereas the goblins are e most easily found in that encampment uh, on the east side of Evendim. You need to run around that, wait for a response, run around it again. And not gonna lie, I'm also feeling a little bit peckish, as you do. Um, because while I did have a supper, I didn't finish my supper. So I am actually really hungry. Also, um, I think what I'm gonna have is I had the big piece of beef I mentioned earlier. Mmm, -hmm, beef is... I think I'm gonna, and I put uh, bulgogi sauce on it. I think I'm going to eat some uh, sour cream and onion potato chips because I haven't had those in forever. I was having a craving for sour cream and onion potato chips, and I decided to. Um, I was like, well, I'm gonna get the ruffles. I know they're expensive, which are like you know, four bucks for one of the small bags or you know the small personal bags or whatever. Uh, but it happened to be on sale for $2.99, so I took that as a sign. It's like, well, it looks like I need to do that. Okay. We're at 28, I think that 30 of 180. So I would say, unless you want to hang out and shoot the shit, uh, if you're bored, I wouldn't blame you. If you want to go wander off, again, I wouldn't blame you. I want to wander off myself. But I can't, I don't, I don't bot. 
I don't bot the game like some people do. But we're going to, it's going pretty good. They're, I mean, they're responding pretty quickly. So we're at um, 40 of 180 now. Have I completed Lin Farm? Yes, I did that ages ago. See? So basically, the only two that I have left for the Slayer Deeds are Goblins and Salamanders. So we're working on Salamanders right now. And killing other things as we pass. Why? Because it's fun. And again, they sh shared restore point or shared spawn points. Hi, Dragon Rider. How are you? What's up in the world of Dragon Rider, huh? What what have you been doing in Lotro of late? You do not have enough room for that. I think though, um, after the ice cream, well, here's the thing: is I will probably feel a little bit hungry in a few hours anyway. Uh, simply because um, dinner was the first meal of the day, so 6.30 is the first time I ate anything today, which was not a good idea. Don't do what I do. Don't. Because mm. right, I was just so busy running errands, and I didn't think about getting anything to eat until after I was done. So that was like my reward, and then I didn't even eat my supper to begin with, so I was like, what the fuck? Pretty much grinding points? Hell yeah. Ski is grinding points too, so... We're, I'm not grinding points, I'm just grinding Slayer Deeds. We're at 62. You haven't had dinner yet either. Shame on you! Shame! Shame on you. Shame on you. I don't think there's actually responses anything other than Norbog because those are pretty straightforward uh, insectoid places. Ooh. Ooh. Gosh darn it, Druid. Stop yawning. All right, we're gonna take a moment to clean out the bags, stretch the back a little bit. All right, browse the shop, and because we always have to look and see how terrible the the stuff is. Oh my goodness! Uh, see that? See that? See that? Get rid of the rest. Loot all. Save the walnut sapwood, sell the rest. Alright, points granted. Five points. Ha, ha, ha. The quencher of flames. No, I refuse to be the quencher of any flames. I am born of ashes, which used to be flames. It's fine. Your stomach's growling. What's for dinner, Dragon Rider? What, what do you... What are you eyeballing for food, huh? I'm curious. You took a level 18 champ and started doing everything to get all the decent quests. Things you've not done in a long time and ended up doing it again. Saw some errors you had forgotten about? Yeah, I know. The Shire Air Luna and Bree? Yeah. Well, if you're using the deed tracker, which is this beautiful thing. Oh, look at this mess. Oh my god. Ooh, tuna fish sandwich sounds tasty. One thing about tuna fish sandwiches is those are really good for summer eats because they're not too heavy, if that makes any sense. Yeah, 
Yes, get this thing, Ski. And I think Cube uh, was talking uh, bef before before String of Numbers, aka Cube. Uh, he was talking about trying to find a way to make it so that it automatically picked up all of your completed deeds. If he can get that to happen, this would be the number one plugin for the game. Bar none. <clears throat> Because right now, the biggest thing it can't do is pull in all those old deeds. But once he can get it so it can do that... <clears throat> oh my god. <clears throat> yes, tuna fish sandwiches, no cooking to heat up the kitchen. And speaking as somebody who unwittingly went out, went without air conditioning in the past few days... Yes. <clears throat> Not heating up the kitchen is a good thing. So apparently the reason my house was 80 degrees uh, for the past few days is because my air conditioner didn't kick on for some reason. <clears throat> and I followed the first rule of tech support and it worked. Did you turn it off and turn it back on? Yes. Uh, in this particular case, I turned it off at the thermostat, tripped the breakers in the house, you know, reset all the breakers in the house, um, reseated the fuses in the little fuse box outside above the air conditioner, and redid the breakers a second time, and then completed the party with a re new batteries in the uh, thermostat controller on the wall, and Concluded with reseating the fuses in the fuse box. And then when I flipped the switch in the thermostat controller, all of a sudden I heard it kicking on. But it still has a lot of heat to deal with, though, in the house. So it's, it's still having trouble, and I'm going to go check it earlier. But, like, last night, I was sitting here the same as I was, and I just could not, like, it was so warm down here that I would not have been able to wear my hoodie. And I hate streaming without my hoodie. It's, it's a thing. TD! Hi, TD. Back from Waffles. You only have a swamp cooler? Oh my goodness. Yeah, my house came with a central air conditioning unit. So it has central uh, heating and there's a fur the furnace that everybody y'all paid for. Y'all being the Lotro community. Thank you, McVegan Pants, for starting that bullshit. Because um, for those who don't know, I did not start the fundraiser for the furnace a few years ago when it went out during the winter. That was McV. I woke up at around 11 or noon. Um, and by the time, and I just was like, I, it's cold in here. I'm not, I don't want to get up under the covers. So by the time I finally hauled myself up and actually looked at my phone, it's like, ooh. And they were like 900 deep on a $3,000 GoFundMe or, no, it wasn't a GoFundMe. It was a, it was a thingy me jigger. 112 of 180. We're getting there. And then my my sadly now late father was the person who kicked in the very last amount to make it go over the top. And my mom was pissed because dad was able to help me and she couldn't. My mom is a weird person. We do not get along. Well, she wants to try to get along. I am not interested in it. I mean, she fucking stalks me in the Mythgard Lotro um, Facebook group. I'm like, you don't even play Lotro. You don't care about the game. You're only here to see me post. So I stopped posting in it. Which is kind of stupid because I'm a fucking officer in Mythgard. I used to actually post there, not fairly often, but, you know, big announcements and whatnot. 
Your church helped you get a new one? That's awesome. I mean, there's a lot of really good churches out there. Um, I think my favorite church... I'm not a religious person. I'm going to say it straight up. I, I'm not a believer. But I can appreciate a church community that lives the actual, you know, gospels. As opposed to the ones who claim they're Christian, who are most decidedly, decidedly not. Um... But I think the Episcopal Church is right now is in terms of if if I were a believer, I'd probably want to be a part of an Episcopal Church because they seem to be probably the most welcoming of any standardized um, Protestant church division, sect, faction, whatever you want to call them. And I think Cordovan's actually, his church is a is an Episcopal church. He's actually now like an elder of his church there up in uh, Massachusetts. And there's this beautiful video of him playing his flute in the empty church space, uh, playing Christmas music. And it was really beautiful. I think we shared it in Discord uh, back in December when uh, it came to our attention. It was like, hey, look at that. It's been over 90 and you've resisted using the air conditioning? Oh my god, Kevin, are you baking? Not baking cookies, but I mean like baking in your own juices? I mean, holy shit. You're Episcopalian as well? Super welcome. Yeah, because actually it being Pride Month, I don't really say much during Pride Month or, you know, Black... Uh, you know, Black History Month, because it's not really, it's not about me, right? I, I'm, as far as I know, totally straight. Uh, don't question my identity. I, I know what I am, and I, you know. But pride has always been something for other people. Like, my sister is out. Um, she self-identifies as queer, and that that's cool. And, you know, no judgment here. She is what she is. And I, you know, I try to consider myself an ally, but I don't want to be that loudmouth ally who's saying... I did this for you. I should get a cookie. No, fuck that noise. So I basically keep quiet during Pride. Um, however, I saw a sign. Um, like, there was this, um, I guess, a father. or I'm not sure what his actual title was. He had the collar. Um, he was sitting on a park bench or something, knitting this big honking blanket or something. And was basically saying, happy pride, we love you, we validate you, or something, you know, come hang out with us. And it was an Episcopalian dude. And I'm like, I'm down with that. But again, you know, I know a lot of people who are not churchy at all. Hi, Thiefy. Again, I'm, I'm not a believer, but I can sure as damn well appreciate some... Uh, church architecture, because, you know, I, I like architecture in general. All right, we are at 158 of 180. And we've got a thief kitty underfoot. Hi, boy cat. How you doing? Community can be good. The Locho community can be amazing. Like, every year for Extra Life, we do some amazing freaking things. Like that year that we put Cordovan in a kilt because he did think we'd raise 24000 Or well, he didn't think we'd raise 20000 that year. And, well, we raised 24000 So he said he'd do it. So I uh, made him a kilt. I wonder what happened to that kilt. He never told me what he did with it. It's probably in a box somewhere. If, if I, I just suspect it's in a box somewhere. If it's anywhere, it's very possible that it may not have been allowed to stay in his house. Let's just say that. The Atari kilt. It was amazing. But his, his lady friend is not my favorite. I am not her favorite person on the planet. Probably because I made her man look really good. <laughs> but, um, but, but, but. I said but. Alright, 166. That's where the Norbog hang out. I mean, that's a Norboggy kind of place, right? Um, Four 
unfortunately, we're not going to have... Well, actually, we are going to have to kill a hundred... Uh, a whole bunch of goblins as well, because the the basic one of that also says however many of 90, so the second tier is always double that, which is going to be 180. Oh, that bites. But only a few more salamanders left to go. They can ride up to my favorite spot to kill goblins. Here we go, last one. There we go. Awesome sauce. Yeah, I actually took those videos down. Um, because I, I honestly think Cord was embarrassed by it all. And I was trying to respect his wishes and didn't want to intrude upon his male dignity too much. But, you know, come on. Does look amazing in kilts. Alright, this one. Valor. Let's set that to earning. Kevin with. Wow, the 21st gift sub. That is a dragon rider. Thank you, Master Kevin. You have personally funded my most recent, my most, my upcoming Twitch payout for real. Shit! And one to Moxie! What is this, sub-only chat tonight? If he's not careful, it's gonna cause a hype train. I've never had a hype train before. Ginger! Gotta share the thief kitty love. Hell yeah! I'm down with that. Where are you? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on, kitty. Come on, kitty. Meow. Meow. With enough subs, you'll get me switching to Coke. No, no, no. Never gonna happen. I'm a Pepsi girl. I went to Pepsi State University, God, for God's sakes. Like, for true story, um, when I went to Penn State in the 90s, they signed an exclusive contract with the Pepsi-Cola company uh, so that n every vending machine on campus, the drink, the soft drinks sold in the, you know, give, or, um, in the cafeterias were all Pepsi products. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. <clears throat> I'm not at all Scottish, and I love kilts. I, I actually, that was the first kilt that I made for somebody uh, other than myself. All the other kilts I made <laughs> are mine. <laughs> Kitty butt. He's a butt. You had Iru Brew a few weeks ago. What is Iru Brew? I forget. Is that like a beer? Alcohol? Is it drank? Is it the Scottish drink? Scottish soda, gotcha. Bright orange, but tastes like bubble gum. So we get TD some of that and some of the potato chips I bought at the store today. And TD has supper right there. Look at you. Look at you. Getting all the cuddles. Yes, you are. You're getting all the cuddles. Um. How much more time do I have on this? Half an hour. Yeah, with the way these 
Put hit putzes respawn. I should be able to get that done in half an hour. And then maybe next show, or and if we get done within half an hour, um, uh, well, I don't want to be here that long. All right, let's go kill the goblins. All of the goblins. Hi, are you gonna get comfy, thief? Let's see. I don't remember if I can jump in here. Nope. And look, my bow is turning blue! Oh my god! There's goblins here! And they all gonna die. I got my favorite kind of sour cream and onion tater chips. I miss this guy. Andy Iden can hang out by himself. Ooh, those are bright red. Hmm. Okay. All right. 90 goblin deaths to go. Now 88. Hi. Yeah, the downside is you have to wait for them to respawn. Yeah. Except, this isn't the only place to get goblins! Y'all remember? You can go kill goblins. Hello, game laggy. There we go. Come on, let's go.
There's supposed to also be a, an RT up here somewhere. Possibly up here. It's actually getting chilly in the house, which I'm down for. Like, it's supposed to be up here, I think, somewhere. No, I didn't have to kill Thok, but why not, right? Fifty-six of a hundred and eighty already. Lance, damn good. And of course, there's a treasure cache back here, if you haven't got it already. See? I think it's probably because when I turned the AC back on, I turned it on to 68 degrees. To help get the house cooled down faster and my house is normally well at least I normally have it set on uh, 74 there's a howler 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 tomb robber screw you tomb robber Well, we can wait from the respawn, or we can just go back down to the other place, kill those dudes. Basically, lather, rinse, repeat. Uh, six and a half, you know, half dozen of the other. Six and one, half dozen of the other kind of deal. Alright. You're... PC, your computer room, say it's not because all the computers had to get a portable AC to keep it cool. You took down the curtains and put up blinds instead? Like, horizontal blinds? Or vertical blinds? Or, like, an actual blackout blanket or something? Actually, interior shutters. Oh! Yeah, because what they're doing is they're reflecting the light and heat away. Especially if they're colored white. Because if they were black, they would just soak up the heat and, and send it straight in. And be like, Bleh. Yep, they're white. See? I knew you were smart. Yes. Though, I was not smart today, and I wore my black jeans uh, when I went to the store and to mow the lawn, so I was quite toasty. I 
On the other hand, uh, I did want to keep my uh, good work khakis clean for work. You know, that whole job thing. What? All right. Ah! Got 52 minutes. It'll be fine. We'll be done by then because it's almost time for us to get out of here. I think we'll get this uh, deed done and then call it. I'll take the the one quest back to the RT dude. And then we'll head out after that. So we can stick around a little bit after that. After the top of the hour. Because BBB doesn't play until uh, midnight. Got them both that time. All right, I think I got them all, and we're at 132 of 180. So let's head on back to the other camp. Yep. Keeping the windows covered, I mean, it really is a question of being sensible about blinds and um you know reflecting heat away from your house in the summer hmm. do, 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 do yeah red curtains ain't it yep i mean i have on the uh, on the front of my house, there's a big bay window, or a big window. Um, it looks really nice, but it needs some kind of curtain or reflective something. On the other hand, it's so warm in there, um, during the morning, Thief Kitty likes to curl up right, uh, right there. In the big freaking sunbeam. Because that's what Thiefies do. All right, just a couple more and we'll be done. Awesome. Ding, ding, ding. All right, even then Goblin Slayer completed. All right, let's go speak to Brangill. 10 points deed completed so that's the slayer deeds for even dim completed mm. 
Okay, confidence is next. Set that to earning. And then after that, I'll just go down the line. All right, I'll let us get to where this quest is. We're going to take the scenic route because it'll be fun. Uh, I am actually going to follow the path... Because I'll be able to hit up most of the RT, um, most of the RT positions on the way back if we take the scenic route. Um, he is in Tinandir. Supposed to be possibly an RT up here, the top of this mountain, I think. Ah, I hate when I do that. Or maybe it's this one? Yeah, I'm pretty much in the right spot to see it, so it should be here. If it were here, but it's not here. Ow. Breaking my leg! Breaking my leg! Yeah, so we're close to where this one should be. Okay, how I didn't break my leg there, I don't know. And if we can't find this one last dude, which should be up here somewhere, then we will start with that next week um, and also pick up any of the other quests I have in Even Dim. We might be almost done, question mark? Where are we? So, theoretically, that guy should be over in this clearing. Ah, stop it. Huh. 
Hello. And you're exactly who I need. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's kick his ass. There we go. We completed the deed. So now I'm just actually going to go down to um, where the boat is. Not take the scenic route back to to, to Indir. So I need to complete the quest, and then that will complete the deed. I see. That works. That works. What do you need? Remember there being the sound of waves. Plopping along the shoreline there. How can I be of service? There we go. Completed the deed. Greetings. So I got five launcher points and ten gift givers brands for completing the deed. And yeah. Three for completing each. And virtue cap increased again. Okay, so all five of my slotted are locked in. Um so we're just gonna do these down the row. Down, so charity is next. I mean, Mercy really needs a lot of help. But we'll go with charity first. Alright. Well, yeah. Let's clean out the bags real quick. Mail all of the things to all of the alts. And then we will get our butts on over to the BBB show. That goes to the jeweler. And I need to look up my list of things because my um, crafting selections are not the same between... Um, I was looking for Drogus and I just kicked his ass. My crafting choices are not the same between... Um, Bombadil. Bombadil. No, Honor in uh, Landy. Okay. Lotro. Whew. Had to look up the right thing. Okay. Jeweler is also my cook here. So. Let's go through this methodical like. I'm going to put all of the scrolls next to each other. Those are easier to sort out that way. Okay. 
Parsley, parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Remember me to one who lives there. She once was a true love of mine. Alright. Okay. Next, the scholar is also my farmer. The scholar gets the scholar mitts. Oh, I forgot these. Oh, hey, fortunate. Metalsmith, scholar, woodworker, weaponsmith, metalsmith. Okay. Scholar mats. <sighs> Whetstones. Oh, that's the weaponsmith. Zalen and Flax Metalsmith Metalsmith and Taylor go to Carassa. I'm the Roven Defender even evened him now. That's nice. Okay, let's get the rest of this crap out of here. Loot all of the things. And we go back for round two! Fight! Uh, Weaponsmith. I get those. Jeweler. Almost done with inventory management. Okay, woodworker. Wrong character. There we go. And... Ooh. Yawn! Stop it, Druid. really want ice cream, but I shouldn't have ice cream because I need real food. There we go. And let's sell the rest of the crap. Sell all. There we go. And we're done with this round of Evendim. Uh, we're going to clean up the rest of Evendim next week. Um, same bat time, same bat channel. Let's see. Let's see who's uh, streaming. Is there anybody? Well, I mean, there's all kinds of people streaming some Lotro. There's a newer streamer called Professor Teacher G. Um, there's Bloodborne, as usual. And see, basically, if there's 
Anybody want to watch, go watch them because they're fun. Um, there's some folks that I don't know who they are necessarily, but, you know, if there's somebody you might want to go find a new friend to watch, sounds like a plan. Um, I myself am going to go watch the BBB and also, um, eat some food. And then after BBB, I'm going to go play some ARC. So, you know the drill, be good. If you can't be good, be good at it. I should be back on Monday. Uh, might be a Mass Effect Monday. I haven't decided yet. Uh, Monday will be the last day of freedom before the job starts up. So, both excited and terrified. And also, my sleep schedule is wacky. So, we'll see how it goes. So, I hope to see you there. Uh, otherwise, have a good rest of your weekend. I'll see those of you in Lotro if you're at the Andune concert tomorrow. I should be there, so peace.